Hey guys, so today I have a quick and easy tutorial on how to change your desktop wallpaper if you haven't activated Windows. So if you didn't know, you could actually uh, install Windows without a license key, meaning that you can actually do it for free. So when you're actually install, win installing Windows through a media boot device, which you can easily download from Windows web page, while installing, you can actually click I don't have a product key when it asks you for one and you, it'll let you install Windows like normal and it'll let you use it like normal once it's done. Only thing you can't do is personalize it. So if you go into settings, in personali personalization, you can see that none of these settings are actually available. Meaning that you can't change your wallpaper anymore. But there is a way around this and it's very simple. So to change your wallpaper to whatever you want, you go find a picture that you like. So my favorite uh, website to get uh, beautiful photos from is stocksnap.io. They have beautiful free pictures which are, uh, f you know, they're not against copyrights. If you use them in your videos, they're not going to get any copyright strikes or anything like that. So if you find one you like, uh, like, like this one, this one I actually really like. I've already downloaded the picture. So you can actually go here and pick any picture you want, download it, and I'll just show you how to set it as your wallpaper. You don't have to download a picture from here. Any picture will do. I'm just saying that this is one of my favorite websites to get stock photos from. So if we go take a look. So you just open a picture, and in the uh, photo viewer settings, the three dots here, you, can be, you go to set as, set as background. So now after that's done, you have your new desktop wallpaper. It's really simple and you know, it makes it not worth actually paying for Windows. Now another annoying thing that happens if you don't buy Windows is this activate Windows um, watermark. I'm still trying to find a way to overcome this. Some people have suggested to join the Windows Insider program but that hasn't worked for me. And the uh, watermark removal tool does no longer works in the latest build of Windows 10. So uh, that's it for this video, and if you haven't realized, this is a relatively new computer. If you want to know more about it, you can go to my channel and check out the recent video I made on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.